Hello Virgo, how are you? I hope you're doing well as usual and welcome to my channel. Virgo, this will be a general reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements. So if you have Virgo in any of those placements in your chart, this is just a popular reading for you, okay? Keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they're general, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Don't try to force or fit anything. And Virgo, the best time for you to watch or see my readings is when you come across them. Or if the title catches your attention, that's why my readings are timeless. Please don't just focus on your sun sign. Check what other signs you have in, in your other placements. Mostly Moon, Rising, and Venus. You might want to check the signs that I read for uh, those specific... Well, the readings I do for those specific signs. Sorry about that. Uh, depending on the ones that you have on your chart, okay? Sometimes your messages are coming from there, or sometimes they come even stronger from there. It all depends. Please do subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment. I would truly really appreciate it very much, okay? That's the best way you can support the channel. And I do like to hear feedback from my viewers. And Virgo, last but not least, if you would like to book a personal reading with me or if you would like to make a kind donation and support my channel through those means, all the info is in the description box down below. Keep in mind that's the only way that you can contact me. There's no other way that I do not reach out to anyone offering my services. So please be aware of any scams. Okay, Virgo? All right, Virgo, one more. Sorry. Okay, Virgo, the heart of the matter, what this reading will be about for some of you, it's the current energy that you're dealing with or will be dealing with soon. Queen of Wands, okay? It's a nice, nice energy, but uh, it can come with some warnings, okay? This is someone who trusts in the process and the mad, believes in magic. Someone who believes and trusts the divine and in themselves and very creative, very passionate. Embraces and beliefs in mystery. Please, for some of you, whatever it is, the situation that you're dealing with, don't let it affect you. Don't let it make you angry, resentful, bitter. Okay? It's very important. It's a strong, divine, fire, feminine energy, okay? It doesn't matter what gender you are. The energy that's crossing you could be challenging you. Might be a blockage. It's the fool. Aries energy. Interesting. So you are having a bit of lack of faith here to have this new beginning, okay? So you are being called to step up into more of this Queen of Wand energy and to trust, to have faith. And understand that everything's going to be okay. Okay, give me a second, okay? The energy that's crowning you in your conscious mind, you don't see clearly. I mean, you do see clearly. You are aware of this energy. You're constantly thinking of it. It's the moon, Piscean energy. 
There's a lot of fear, there's a lot of doubt, insecurities. You're not sure of what's going to happen. Sorry about that. You're scared of something. This is what's holding you back, and you are aware of this energy. You might be overthinking things a little bit. This is very Piscean energy, and I know. I'm your divine counterpart. Pisces, or opposite, I would say. Pisces and Virgo. We always want to help humanity and everything, but Pisces can get a little stuck in the overthinking and in fear and doubt. Some of you might have a bit of Pisces energy. But you're not aware of what's below you in your subconscious mind where you don't see clearly and maybe you should. There's your higher self trying to tell you this. It's the Queen of Pentacles and there you are. Strong, earth, divine, feminine energy. Capricorn, Virgo or Taurus. It's, uh, have faith, trust yourself. This is almost a mother energy. It's like you being your mother, to a mother to yourself. Supporting yourself through this. Telling yourself that you can do this. And not to be afraid. Very supportive energy. Just stay grounded, okay? And some of you might feel a little lonely at times, and that's okay, especially when we are a little trapped in fear and feeling insecure, okay? It's okay. The energy behind you in your recent past, what happened for you to go through this or where you're coming from, the lover's energy, Gemini, the lover's Gemini energy. You're coming from an energy where everything probably was balanced. You thought that everything was perfect. Not, if not perfect, just, you know, everything was well. It, everything was working in harmony between you and whatever it is that you're dealing with. Love work, finances, personally, family, home. It's this energy of you and your divine match which is simply something made for you, you know. But this also is something that you're being called to. To take a leap forward. To. That you know it's meant for you. You can feel it. 
but your fears and insecurities are probably holding you back. You have to trust in this. You have to trust yourself here. Very good. This is like a match made in heaven, okay? Between you and this, whatever it is that you're dealing with. What's coming towards you in your near future, where you're headed to? Five of Cups. You're gonna have to release this energy of Feeling that you missed out or are missing out or always miss out on things. It's very similar to the Five of Pentacle energy. Seeing how things, something you lost or something that didn't work out in your favor. But you have to see that there's other things for you. And that's what you're not seeing right now. If you keep this positive mindset, and I know it's not easy, if you keep trusting and you take the sleep fearlessly, to whatever it is that is calling you. There's something that's calling you. Because it's it's made for you. Then you will see. You will see those two cups behind you. You're ready. This is how you see yourself, how you're responding to a situation, or how you should see yourself or respond to the situation. Two of Wands, you are ready to put yourself out there, to, to expand. to show the world who you are or show the world what you have to offer. But you are ready. You have to, you have to you have to start seeing yourself in this energy. You know how they always say to folks in the present uh, moment? I think in this case, it's a little different. Because, yeah, always focusing on the present moment, it will always um, um, keep you realistic, grounded. But uh, I think you're like this close. Something's holding you back. And the only way to, to release yourself from this fear or insecurity to move forward, to take this leap of faith that you're being called to, because it's, it's blocking, it's just, you're not doing it. It's to just see yourself a little bit in the future. It's like a reminder of what's going to happen, of all the good things that are going to happen for you if you do take this leap of faith. Because if you just do stay in the present time, I'm afraid that you could just let time fly and you'll remain sitting without taking action. It's 
like you're on the very verge of the jumping board, right on the very edge of the cliff. And you're just, something is holding you back. I don't know what's holding you back, but it's something that you can't see, you can't make sense of it. What is it? It's weird. We'll see in a minute. Brigo, this is the energy that's representing you, or I mean, influencing you, surrounding you, affecting you, maybe in a way. It's a hermit energy. That's you. Virgo energy. You're being called here to follow your inner light and to listen to your to your higher self. You are wise, Virgo. Don't be afraid because inner, your inner light will shine and it will light the path for you through this. Some of you, something you lost emotionally affected you and I think that's pretty much what's causing this self-doubt, this insecurity. Your hopes and fears, nine of pentacles. Yes, you will be lucky. This is a card of good luck also. It's just like someone who wins the lottery or you go and fill out a job application and they literally say yes, you're hired or anything, whatever it is that you have to take a leap of faith on, you're really hoping to achieve it, but you gotta, you gotta do it. Am I doing the right thing? Yes, you are doing the right thing. Some of you are asking yourselves that question. It's your intuition, it's a little hindered right now, but it's because of the fear because your moon, the moon is in, the, in your conscious mind. And it's ruling right now. The way you are responding to situations. Outcome or advice, king of swords. It's about being true and loyal to yourself. Dealing. The right way with a situation. Being clear. With what you want, okay? What is it what you want? You have to be clear, true, and loyal to yourself here. Speak your mind. If you need to speak your mind, do so. Because I think that will benefit you in a big way. Three of swords, bottom of the deck. 
If you don't do this, you're going to regret it. Very good. You're going to betray yourself. Stop holding back and overprotecting yourself. Or, you know, just holding back, holding on to tight. This is, it's a really tough decision. But you're ready or you have to see that you are ready somehow. You have to prove it. You have to prove to yourself and to the divine and maybe even to someone else that you are ready. That's what this King of Swords is telling you in the, in the advice. Be very clear with your desires and your intentions and the way you speak. It's time for the sleep of faith. But you're going to regret it if you don't do it. Let me take another card from the bottom of the, from this deck. Um, additional message or maybe a warning, something that I might be missing. It's a really heavy energy. I, I have a slight headache. At the mid of the reading, I started getting a slight headache. And I think you, you, might, you might be having this slight headache also because uh, you're having a hard time trying to see things bottom of the deck the fool what else do you need to tell Virgo regarding this reading or this situation thank you strength bottom of the deck you, you, you need strength to do this yes it's more Leo energy Queen of Wands strength You will have victory. If you're asking yourself a question, you will have victory. And everything will be balanced for you. Okay, Virgo? But if you don't do this, I'm afraid that it's, it, it's going to be very heartbreaking. Okay? Don't do this to yourself. Don't, don't, don't let fear hold you back. You know, you know it's holding you back. You know it's, it's, it's not helping you. You have to see what you want to do and how you want to do it. What is it? It could be a relationship. You want to come together with someone. It might be a job. I don't know. Take it the best way it resonates for you. Okay? So when the one that flies out. Ladybug, good luck. You see, I said it's, it's fuck. You will be successful, you'll have luck. You are a bright energy. Let worry go and be happy here and now. Feel good about being a loving and colorful you. You bless the world with color and good luck. Okay? Virgo, it couldn't be any better than that. Let worry go and be happy here and now. You have to let that moon energy, it's crowning you. It's, it's, really, it's really affecting you. You gotta, you gotta go for it. Just do it. Because you will regret if you don't. Come on, you can do it. But show, you have to prove that you're ready for it. And the first person you know, thinking you have to prove it is to yourself. Once you do that, then everything else will see that you're ready. The divine will see it and others will see it. But if you don't prove it to yourself, nobody's going to see that you're ready. And I don't know, but it always works. Out. Okay? Just keep remembering. You don't want that. Okay, Virgo, I hope this reading helps you and it gives you the guidance that you're seeking at this moment of your life. It's the best I can do for you right now. Okay, and uh, if you like it, if you enjoy it, please do hit the like button and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I would truly appreciate it. 
Virgo, as usual, I hope to see you next time. Please do stay safe, be happy, and stay very blessed. Goodbye, Virgo.